right. Good morning, everyone. We're gonna be to where we're racing today. So pretty excited. We're right outside of Denver right now. Starting the day off right. Five miles till empty. And yeah, so. All right, first pit stop of the day. I know we're getting close to Nebraska because just a bunch of cornfields. We lost the other scoop. <laughs> yeah. Gosh dang it, I guess we're running no scoops now. <laughs> Poor Haas, we'll have to clean those up. <laughs> dang. dang, whoever put these on gotta put some better double side tape next time, my man. But all right, yeah, we're in the middle of a cornfield, so we're close, but we're gonna keep cruising through the cornfields. We made it. It's official. We're in Arnold. Just getting some fuel um, since I didn't want to stop and ran her right down to the dry at the end. But I was hoping Arnold, the small town of Arnold, had a gas station. But yeah, this town's pretty tiny. Pretty much everything right now is just racing. So pretty sweet. I love coming into towns like this. Kind of reminds me of like Cranon, where you know the whole race is the town. So rad. You. All right, so we just got into Arnold, and as soon as we got there, everyone was like, get in the truck, we're going to launch a battery. And I was like, what the heck? So we ended up, we got out on some farm, and a dude's got a catapult, and we're gonna launch one of these Optima batteries um, and see what it does, just to prove how tough they are. So it's pretty wild. Yes. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so just got back from tossing some Optima batteries, and now we're gonna go pre-run the course, but I don't know, we don't have really any GPS or anything set up yet, so I think we're just gonna kind of follow and uh, you know see what we're working with, and then we'll determine, you know, if it's really gnarly, then we'll make some really good notes. If not, we'll probably just steal some of these guys' notes. They all got GPSs, all these things going. I mean, we got all our clothes still <laughs> and a cooler. So, but, I mean, we're just here for fun, feel it out. All right, just finished our first run. So I just figured out, so we run the track one way and then we, everyone bunches up and then they turn you around and you run it the other way. So, kind of interesting, kind of fun. You get to see both aspects of it. Um, got some, got Cam up there, we're following, and this other guy in this AMG. But it's definitely pretty cool. Whole nother ball game what we're used to. Alright guys, unfortunately I screwed up the audio on this and put it in front of the AC vent so all you could hear was sound like I was in a wind tunnel. But we were out there pre-running, um, taking a lot of notes. It was definitely a lot different because down in Mexico we kind of we cruise this, we were going, you know, we were doing 50, 60 miles an hour the whole time, so it was kind of hectic for Carson who was riding with me, but a ton of fun. And yeah, just learning the new track and it was way different than we uh, expected. We're in the middle of Nebraska. All right. 
right, guys, good morning. I uh, forgot to vlog last night. We just kind of got some dinner and then rushed back to the hotel and tried to get some sleep before we're up this morning. Uh, just getting the cars warmed up, about to go roll through tech. Then I need to finally install my k and stuff that we've been carrying around everywhere. We just haven't had time. We've been on just one after another thing since we've got here, so, but pretty fun. Hanging with the whole Optima crew, got some gnarly Porsches, and uh, Cam's got his minivan, which he's gonna try to break some world record. Gonna be the world's fastest minivan in a mile, which pretty sweet. slash race car. <laughs> Gotta unload our spares. Leave that 94 on. Yeah, they'll probably. I don't think. Yeah, they'll figure, they'll figure it out. They, all of our vol volunteers up on the road know what our. Getting her dialed in. No bubbles, right? No bubbles? <laughs> Alright, I'll get you no bubbles. Alright, so we gotta have a fire extinguisher in here, but this thing's really uh, giving us hell. Trying to get this all in there. I ended up cutting my finger when we were doing it. Now I got getting blood everywhere. Carson's getting oh, to the job though. Bro, that's the wrong freaking zip tie, bro. Oh shoot. <laughs> I think we finally got it somewhat good. Still bleeding everywhere. <laughs> Looks like I got like something gnarly. It's just a little paper cut basically. All right, we just installed some sick stickers. We have to. I think we have more bubbles than stickers, but she looks she looks good. <laughs> this thing's pretty racy now. So we stopped at KN, got ourselves a performance intake. So we're gonna install that thing right now, and uh, hopefully it's pretty easy because we have almost no tools. So should be pretty fun, and see what we can do. Got this intake installed. Looks way better, I can tell you that. So that's huge. Now that we've finished the air intake, um, the high performance air intake, we got this throttle control module we're gonna try to slap in there. They say it's literally plug and play. So let's see how this thing is. And it's supposed to uh, improve throttle response and improves acceleration so i put one of these in my ranger and it was pretty incredible what it did and so i kind of want to see because this thing's already pretty like pipey on the throttle just walking a goat only 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 in nebraska you just walk your goat down like main street basically I love like the rack. It's your first time, right? Quite a few of you guys. You will. All right, so we finished our driver's meeting. Now, like a driver track walk thing. 
first off the bus. Show us around. Come on up. Uh, we did have one gentleman uh, here a couple years back, about 10, that he decided that uh, he was going to show us. Well, you didn't bring me a car, so yes. <laughs> And they're all shined up for tomorrow. Yeah. Look how bad one's off. First time she's been shiny since I bought her. Good job. That's pretty epic. Too early. Good morning. We've made it somewhat. All right, guys, good morning. It's officially a race day. It's not the big race day, but um, those are my shorts. But uh, it's we're doing a half mile today, which I've never done something like that. I don't think we're not going to break any records, but I don't know. I think it'll be fun to see how fast we can get this Mustang going in, uh, in a half mile stand and start and then pretty cool some of the optima guys are gonna try to break some world records today so we got one going for the world fast minivan and then i forget the other guy but his is really actually really really fast so it should be pretty cool all right we're on our way to the racetrack just realized we got low tank which i think will be good we got 46 miles right now <laughs> whoopsie daisy So we just got to like the start line or staging area. Um, Optima is doing a cool thing. They flew a bunch of people out. They're doing some ride-alongs in these really fast cars. So um, pretty cool, but it just started raining, which for a mile and a half mile is not ideal. So we just, um, just getting ready. We honestly really have no clue what's going on. I feel like no one does, but it's kind of cool. You know, there's a few people, they said just sit over here, maybe get suited up. You'll see, you'll, you'll know when you're ready to go. So that's what, we're gonna get suited up so we're not rushing at the end. Made our first pass, 125 half mile, not bad. Smoked the clutch, cold tires. <laughs> yeah, she was not stoked because we really didn't do any warm up or anything. Just went straight for it. But hey, we're alive. <laughs> yeah, this isn't uh, this isn't usually my cup of tea, but you know I'm full race ready over here, off road ready. <laughs> Got my homes, my three point harness, but. How'd she go? Better, start with traction. Yeah. How'd you do? Yeah, we were just sitting there spinning. But <laughs> I don't know. Now we just wait, hang out until uh, all the cars come this way, and we'll all run back that way, and then do another run. So, pretty cool. This RS is so sweet. Ha <laughs> ha 
All right, so we just went down and turned around and we were driving past officially chased us down. I was like, oh man, what did I do? Cause I'm pretty clueless. I have no clue what's going on right now. To be honest, but we're having fun. And he's like, yo, he's all, they want you to do the mile. Cause we just did the half mile. And like, you have to be like multi-time to do a mile. So I was like, oh sweet, we'll do a mile, but it should be fun. I don't know, see if we can get a little faster, but I'm a little worried about the gas situation. <laughs> that I forgot to fill up this morning, so we're down to what 36. Yep. The 36 last half mile pulled like five gallon, five miles. So I'm hoping this doesn't take 10. I'm hoping it only takes like seven or eight, but we'll see. Identical car, it looks like. Same wheels, same brake package. This looks a little tuned up. In the cage, racing seats and stuff. Oh shoot, we're leading the Mustang pack. I didn't even realize that we got another one. Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, so they got us all tuned up for the mile, and now they just had a, um, a few cars get really loose. There's a really bad slick spot, so I think they're gonna hold us for a little and see, but it sounds like we're probably not gonna run, which kind of sucks, but hey, it's been fun so far just hanging out. So many cool dudes, like there's all these just legends in these gnarly fast cars. I was talking to one dude in a Lambo. He hit 230 on this chip sealed country road. No prep, like sketchy in a mile. It's like got bumps, like you're like, and he hit 230 miles an hour. This is a blessing in disguise. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's Every, bummed, but we're actually standing there. Everyone's <laughs> bummed about not running, but honestly, we're not out of gas now. <laughs> Cha -ching. Hey, Carson, does anyone know about this? Until not this video yet. releases? <laughs> no. Oh, you got that? Go back. This is that one crazy dude. Yeah. That dude's an interesting character. Oh, there he is. The man. The myth, the legend. Cruising the Nebraskan country right here. Heading to a lunch. Dance population. All right, so we're trying to get this skew off this, which has been an absolute nightmare. We've tried everything. All right, um, we just attempted finish cleaning that side, but that was not great. But now we're uh, there's a parade. We got Kaya, the real navigator of the 20th century or 21st century, and. Right, so we just finished the parade. Now everyone's getting parked. Pretty cool. Downtown Arnold right here. Look at them all. We're at the end of the line. But look at it. people are starting to roll in. This is honestly so rad. Yeah. Kaya, what do you think? Did you have fun? All right, so just got a, someone came up today. They were, this is this lady's dream, her. It's his like uh, stepmom's dream car, what we got here. So she's been eyeing it up. So he asked if I'd take her for a ride. So we just finished pre run a little, took a few notes, and now we're gonna go just take her for a little quick ride. Hooked another bird. Oh, no bird. That fool is back there. Dude, we, I don't know where he, we just greased that fool. <laughs> Dude, right here. <laughs> Can you kind of see it? It's like all like, oh, I don't know. My man. Dude, I think he murked the window, didn't he? How far was it? <laughs> We've been running. Still no bird. Good morning. 
It is uh, officially race day. It's like five o'clock Nebraska time, which means it's three o'clock California time. So rise and shine, but we gotta get to the start line early. Make sure we got everything ready. And see so, ya. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. Exciting. All right, so we just got to, we're just a couple miles from the start line, back to the Optima trailer. Um, it's pretty cool, they have a little breakfast for all the volunteers. Um, you're welcome to go grab food, but this isn't the gravy on race day, it's just not my go-to. Um, but now we're just getting the car all dialed in. Carson's looking over his notes, because we're gonna go have some fun. We got all kinds of timers, GPSs. But so we got GoPro, GoPro up there. Jeep, uh, this is gonna be running a special app for these type of open road races. That's just a regular cooking timer that we're gonna have it. I'll have my phone over there with another timer and then Carson will have a GPS in hand. And we have two GPS pucks that uh, boost the GPS signal because when you're going over like 100 um, in the, on a regular iPad or iPhone, it starts to lag. <laughs> so you need a boost and then got a coffee of course. All right, we're all suited up, and now we're heading to the start line. Oh man, the heat's still on. <laughs> um, but pretty excited. This is it. It's not looking too good. I think they're gonna delay it because the fog in town. I don't know, a couple hundred yards. All right, we're here. Start line. I have no clue where we're supposed to be. <laughs> so we just pulled in line. I know we're the last car of our class. A man's brand for these guys. This guy's like one of the fastest guys, so he knows. All right, so we've been on a uh, fog delay for almost two hours now. Uh, it's still foggy, but it's just clearing up enough, so it's gonna be safe to road, run the road. We're just on a public road, but they shut down. Pretty cool, starting ourselves behind a Ferrari. Um, we're actually the last one in our class, which is kind of cool, so we got the fast car, faster cars behind us, but you can just see cars for miles cars for miles and we're just we're in town and we're about to go start at the optima starting line right there all right we're all suited up um got the start line up there in a sec So we just finished, um, our computers acted up a little right at like 150 yards before, so I think we're close. Um, I don't know, honestly the pace was a lot slower than I expected. I thought we would have to like slow down here and there, but honestly we had to slow down like the whole time. And uh, I think I looked at the computer more than I looked at the road. <laughs> One time I was playing with it, it almost went off the road. But. All right, so we just finished eating breakfast. They had pancakes and sausages for us here at the Sand Hills Public School. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. It was kind of cool. And uh, now we just got suited back up, and everyone's getting back in their cars, and we're gonna go down to the start line, which now is 
what was our finish line is now our stall line, and then we're going to take off and go 27 miles backwards. Look at how rad this is. Look at this. Oh, yeah. We got like 150 something cars all racing. Honestly, this is one of the coolest things like just this many cars together from everywhere. From, we got a minivan, Mustangs, whole nine yards. Dude, we honestly got a Mustang crew right here. I didn't even realize it. All right, we're here. Start line down there. Everyone's coming to look at this dude. This dude is an absolute legend, dude. How's it going? Uh, no, it's pretty quick. We could probably pick it up a notch, but well, we're we're rookies out here, so we don't get to run it very fast. Well, yeah, definitely. We'll be out here again. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, Elizabeth, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, yeah. First time in front of the microphone. <laughs> nice. What did you think? Was that your first time? That third. Oh, yeah. shoot. Carson, you need to step it up, bro. We just uh, finished. Uh, we we're, I think we were a few seconds off, but honestly, we had fun. We were face, we we're, uh, I keep saying Facebook. We were Instagram live the entire time. We should have went YouTube live. That would have been better. But we were uh, Instagram live. It was pretty funny. We All right, so uh, we just kind of cleaned up. And then, but remember how I was saying, I'm gonna sell this car right away. Like as soon as I get home, pretty much. Well, last night, I was uh, yesterday when we were at the parade, I started talking to this, I was like, this lady was eyeing this car, talking about how it was a dream car. And I'm like, well, it's, it's for sale as soon as it crosses the finish line tomorrow. And now she's uh, she's really serious. So we're going to go take her and she's going to get to drive it, see what she thinks. And yeah, pretty, pretty funny. If I sell this thing, I mean, she literally lives a block away from the finish line. It's going to be pretty funny. Like, <laughs> but hey, kind of fun. And then I don't have to drive home. But me and Carson have been looking forward to the road trip. We have all these things planned. <laughs> Not really, we haven't planned a thing, but hey, something, something to do. All right, so I um, let the lady test drive in the car and I uh, think I sold it. So I'm cleaning it up right now. I'm gonna go take it and uh, start my negotiation. But uh, I think she uh, she's pretty stoked. It's, um, you know, it's, I mean, it's a fun car. It's clean. I'm giving her a killer deal because then I don't have to drive home. So, you know, Steve saves me money on gas, time, whole nine yards. So, yeah, it should be fun. All right, guys. I think this is my last girl, last, last, last ride in the girl. It's my mom's first time last. in the car. It'll also be the last time. Kind of funny. That's it. Just sold the car. <laughs> Easy as that. Finish line is literally like on the other side of that green building. Whole fam. Born and raised. Carson, what do you think? Pretty crazy, man. Those people did make a good purchase. Really nice. Yeah, they're pretty they're stoked. Nice. They're pretty nice people. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I ended up covering up my mic on my kind of going away videos. So I'm going to do it now. I'm back in Hemet, um, full day of traveling. 
but it was pretty cool. Ended up selling the car. Um, then there's a little awards banquet. We kind of hung out there. They got on a flight and headed home. But overall, this entire experience was super cool. And now I know you're all wondering, what did I finish? Um, I ended up getting disqualified. We just found out a little bit ago once we got home. Uh, I ended up crossing the finish line going too slow. I was doing like 73 or 74 or something when I was supposed to be doing 75. But hey, we were there, we had fun. Um, thanks to the whole Optima team for having me. It was honestly a really cool experience. Just getting to meet everyone. Everyone in Arnold, Nebraska, thank you guys for hosting us because it was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun and I definitely want to get back there. But I'm gonna end this video and right now and I know it's already super long because I already edited it. And so if you made it this far, drop a comment below. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends. We have a lot of new content coming that is honestly really rad and I've been having so much fun trying to create all this and it's a lot of work. So hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it and see you guys next week.